Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Super excited to be here today as I am doing my first layout after organising all my kits from the Hip Kit Club for the last six months. And I organised them recently uh, in a video that you'll see the link below on how I've set all this up and my thinking around that. And so I thought, right, I'm going to do a layout and I'm going to see if this kit busting uh, organization system is actually going to be functional and do you know what I found yes it was it was a great idea the way I sorted it and the way that I sort of had it on hand made it really easy for me to do a kit busting layout which is what I'm going to share with you today I'm sharing this gorgeous, well I'm going to create a layout of this fu super fun, gorgeous photo of my husband. He loves to mountain bike ride and rain, hail or shine, he will be trying to get on his bike. So this particular photo is him, he'd reached the top of a mountain and well a, a little town on the top of a mountain and it was pouring rain and he was covered in mud and he snapped this photo for me and I couldn't help but make this the first kit busting layout and it was really tricky because I've got all these beautiful girly papers and this is a layout that I wanted to you know create a little bit of a masculine feel so I decided I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to see how I can do it. I just want to have fun. This was wanted to be a quick layout, no stress, just grab out some papers and put something together really quickly. And that's what I've done for you to share with you guys today. Now, I, as when I was, I want you, if you haven't had a chance to ha watch my kit busting setup, um, what I did was I sorted all my past kits into bright and sort of more subtle tones, more vintage tones. So I had sorted my papers that way and my embellishments, which made it really easy when I looked at my photo and saw that it's a really bright, happy photo that I went, okay, I'm pulling out my brights embellishments, my brights papers, and I'm only going to draw from that. And the other thing I'm really going to try and do with my kit busting layouts is to really Really maximize my scraps. So every layout is going to have some some form of off cut or scrap that I've used on part of on a previous layout. And you saw that there in the beginning where I had a dog clip full of um, just off cuts. And here they are. You can see me trying to use some up there. And I really want to sort of push myself. It's so easy to cut into a new piece of paper. But I really wanted to try and push myself to use scraps and to sort of, um, you know, not be wasteful. Um, I, I, In the past, I'd often make cards out of my scraps, but I t tend not to do too much card making anymore. So I'm going to really going to try and uh, use these scraps up with layers behind my photos or layers behind my embellishments and see how I go there. And that's what I'm doing here now. I thought I'd just run some layered pieces along the top and bottom of my layout and see if I can build a bit of a cluster there that will sort of, you know, enable me a, a pretty space to put some journaling or my title, which you'll see me do in a second there. So just some simple tearing of some scraps. And as you can see, I'm just layering it in, having a little bit of a play to make a cluster there and although that you know it's a bit higgledy piggledy the colors don't tend to match perfectly it still seems to have come together okay and you know I'm not going to be stressing I'm not going to this is about fun this is about kit busting it's about me just putting some layouts together and not not overthinking it not thinking it's for anyone else but me um, and to delight in some memories of my family and this one was just super special and I loved receiving this photo on my phone. I had a good giggle. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I've also used some acrylic paint. Now that acrylic paint is out of the February kit. Now I'm a, in a upcoming video very, very soon, you will see me uh, 
unpacking and incorporating my February kit into my kit busting system here. And I and then I create a, a, a layout for you after that. So you'll really get to see um, how just by how I how I'm going to be incorporating each month into my system so I don't end up with bags and boxes full of products sitting around not being used so I'm hoping that over the next 12 months this is really going to be something that I really enjoy doing and it's my really easy go-to especially if you're heading out going to retreats or crops how easy is it just to grab these papers and embellishments that are all set up in brights and vintages and pop them in your tote and off you go ready to go with some photos. So that's what um, in an upcoming video keep an eye out for that one you'll see me incorporating the February kit into my system but I had to sneaky that yellow paint in which I know it's in February and I haven't incorporated it officially yet into my kit busting but I uh, into my kit busting system I knew that I wanted to sort of tie in some yellow and it really sort of picked up that photo there with that um, yellowish sort of house or hall that's in the background there and the and the tones I love this yay paper from Crate Paper. Um, I never, when I first saw it, never even considered fussy cutting that. And usually I'm a fussy cutting freak and can spot a fussy cutting page a mile off. Um, but this layout, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to fussy cut those out. And sort of, it's not going to be my main title, but it's certainly going to have a little bit of pop there on my layout. And um, I was sort of sitting them there. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I just knew that they were fun and they sort of had some masculine tones around it, the oranges, the yellows, the blue, the teal. So I was trying to pull out some kinds of those tones just to really um, give this a little bit of a boy flair there. So just fussy cutting those out. They don't end up staying there. Um, you'll see me slide them off shortly and, um, and we'll pop them somewhere else um, as we go. So what are you thinking? How how are you feeling about, um, you know, how this is coming together? Do you like to use your scraps up? How do, how do you keep them? How do you store them? Or do you just um, throw those scraps away once you're finished with them? Um, I'd really love to know your thoughts and, um, and, and any ideas on how you use scraps up would be greatly appreciated because as you can see my pile's getting a little thick. How cute are those? They're, they're not puffy, they're sort of like an enamel finish on them. They're nice and thin, super sticky so you're not too worried it's going to come off like some puffy elements. I, I like to put a bit more adhesive on the back because I'm worried that they're going to slip off uh, eventually these that adventure super stuck down there and I'm, I wasn't worried about that and I love how that long scripty font just runs across that page and it ties in some of the the black stripe with the little black tones on his um, outfit and of course just incorporating those darker tones is another way of you know, keeping this layout a little bit more masculine. Speaking of masculine, though, I thought these flowers were a must. <laughs> okay, so I know you're thinking, Lauren, flowers are not masculine at all. But I thought, I really, he, look, he was up in the bush. <laughs> he's riding, he's getting muddy. And these flowers, they have... The reds and the greens and the orange is sort of like they're dull. Well, they're not dull, but they're sort of a matte muted color palette. And so I thought I could possibly get away with it. Let me know in the thoughts whether you think that I've gotten away with these flowers on this layout. I also thought the type of flower it is also is something a little bit more wild as opposed to a rose or something really delicate and sweet. So I thought, I think I'm going to try and try and get away with, with it. I probably could have cut those larger leaves off down the bottom. Maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I thought the oranges, look, it pulls in his helmet there. Um, so the colors were working for me. Uh, I haven't shown him this layout, so I guess the true test will be when my husband actually sees this layout and whether he makes a, a comment on that flowery cluster that's highlighting his gorgeous face. 
<laughs> Let me know in the comments whether you think it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whether these flowers work on this page or not. But do you know what? I was just going with it. I really want, I, I, I thought, okay, I've got to pull in some darker elements here to try and sort of tone the girliness down. So I grabbed some sort of these gorgeous puffy, um, they're Hip Kick Club exclusive stickers that were, I think they must have been probably in November's kit last year. Time flies. Monthly kits arrive all the time. It just seems, you know, so I can't kind of remember exactly when that those puffies came out, but they're just gorgeous and they're darker. So I thought I'd pop some darker elements on there just to sort of Man it up a little. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Here I am just playing around with where I think these yay should go. Uh, he this this ride that he goes on where he ends up in this town, a little town called Comboyne, it's a big one. It is um, a really high elevation and I worry about him when he rides. The, the tracks that they go on aren't particularly safe. Um, so but it is a big achievement for him. So I try to try to encourage, you know, safety, but just let him trust that he's going to be okay. And hopefully I can find him if he ever came off his bike. <laughs> Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. That gorgeous Heidi Swap sticker was perfect there. It, and as you can see, it sort of toned down a little bit that pink flower. Hello Weekend, often he rides on the weekend. So I knew that that sentiment would would be relevant. I really loved that little sticker and I wanted it on there somewhere. And I eventually find a little spot that it goes in there just to... At fill, fill in that little little space there and shortly you'll see I'm going to add a little bit of journaling some clouds because literally he's in the clouds in this town it's uh it's quite quite a cute little quaint town but it is very high <laughs> so I thought adding some clouds there just to sort of run that cluster right up the page and as you can see, I'm really wanting to use stuff up. I'm not going to be shy about it. I'm I'm going to, sometimes you hoard those special little elements and you don't want to use them, but I'm not going to. I am soon that this upcome, another layout that I've got coming up for you guys where I'm kit busting, I'm, I'm going for it as well. I'm putting all those special little things that you think I'm going to save for something. I'm going to I'm going to pop it on and I'm going to use these kits up because I know this is kits are going to keep filling. Just adding some journaling on to finish the layout and I hope you re guys really like it. It's a little bit higgledy piggledy the color palette's a little bit over there but I had fun putting it together and it felt good to really do some kit busting uh, if you really like my layout my style check out my other process videos if you're new to my channel and give me a like and subscribe I'd really love that share it with your friends that would really help my channel as well and yeah there it is okay guys take care Ho have fun kit busting and I'll be back real soon with another video for you bye Thank you.